Today I'm sharing my favorite all natural zero waste cleaners that I use at home every day. So if you'd like to find out more about those, stay tuned. Hello everyone, my name is Misty Nicole from TheLadyPreferstoSave.com and today I am sharing with you another awesome collab, this one from Angela from Mombi Mode, on my favorite cleaners that I use at home. And for me, you've already guessed that they're probably going to be all natural, DIY, and zero waste. And so today I am sharing with you my favorites that I make every day at home and use in all of my cleaning routines. Now, if you've been on my channel for about a minute, you already know that I'm all about DIY, all natural, zero waste cleaners, and there's a few reasons for that. The first being that several years ago, I was diagnosed with insulin resistant PCOS, and it was under the supervision and opinion of both my naturopath and PCP that I needed to get rid of a lot of caustic chemicals in my home, including chlorine bleach. The second reason is that I am a fervent believer in buying cruelty-free products as a plant-based vegan. I do not believe in purchasing products and giving my vote to companies, if you will, by way of my hard-earned dollars to corporations that condone and conduct animal testing. The third reason is simply economics. I save a lot of money making my own cleaners. Even natural cleaners are often at a 600 to 700% markup in the store. I can make my cleaners for pennies on the dollar. And in fact, right before making this video, I tallied up one of my spreadsheets and found out that last year I saved $316 and change on making my own cleaners. And so that is a huge savings to me, even over how I previously purchased cleaners at my local Sam's Club. So now I'm just going to delve in and show you some of the ones that I use all the time in my house. And let me also throw out if there's any of these products that you would like to see made into separate videos. I will definitely love to do that for you. So let's get started. Some of my favorite products around my house are first, this is my peppermint all purpose cleaner. And as you can see, a lot of my cleaners, I'm going to turn around here. I use glass bottles from Grove Collaborative that I will link in the description bar below. I love that they're glass and reusable and they wear very, very well. I don't put them obviously in the dishwasher. I wash them by hand, but they've lasted for several years and they are around $10. And so this has been a great investment for us. But in terms of this cleaner, I use peppermint castile soap, peppermint essential oil, and distilled water to make this cleaner. It's awesome. It cleans countertops and stoves and appliance fronts. It's also really good for stainless steel. And the best part in the summer, I also like to put it on my doors and my glass and my patio furniture because the peppermint oil is a deterrent for a lot of smaller insects, including ants. And so it's kind of a twofer that way. And I absolutely love this. The second cleaner that I love making is this lemon bleach spray. It is awesome. As I said before, I don't use chlorine bleach in my home and instead make this lemon bleach. It's really, really great for cleaning up grout lines and for just stickier messes on the floor or if I need to put this down on my tile in my kitchen before I use my steam mop. This is just a great all-around cleaner. I also like to use it inside my toilet around the baseline inside the rim to get it really clean. This is also awesome for disinfecting our bidets in our bathroom since we're a family cloth family. I also love this for things like doorknobs and for toys and for things that can't necessarily be put in the washer. This is another one of my favorite cleaning products and this is actually my homemade Febreze that I make with equal parts distilled water and vodka. This is nothing top shelf. Whatever's cheapest on the counter is what's going to get picked up. I love to add to that whatever essential oils I have on hand. I'm not really brand exclusive with my essential oils, but the current blend that I have in here is actually orange essential oil, sweet orange essential oil, cinnamon and clove, and it is perfect for going through fall into winter. It smells awesome because of both the distilled water and the vodka. It dries incredibly fast if you put it on fabrics, especially like microsuede furniture and things like that. So I really like it. It's also great for disinfecting things like mats as you come into your house or play mats or yoga mats or things like that. It's great disinfectant easy to carry around. And I actually will keep a smaller bottle of this in my yoga bag for just that purpose. I also like to wipe down our home gym equipment with this. It's an awesome all around product. And it is something that will quickly dissipate odors in the air 
and it just works really well and uber simple and cheap to make. Another one of the cleaners I like to make is my own version of Nature's Miracle. This is a DIY enzyme cleaner and I make it using distilled water and a little bit of lemon juice or some kind of citrus, a teaspoon of citric acid, as well as any essential oils that I like. I really like using eucalyptus. This is great for getting up pet scenes, especially on carpet or wood floors. It gets rid of the trace scents. I've even used this on occasion for when our elderly cat had sprayed the walls. And after taking a blue light to the walls, completely gone, this has saved us a ton of money because if you've ever bought Nature's Miracle, it's in the $15 to $18 price range at Petco and PetSmart. So this has saved us a bundle just on this one cleaner alone. For a few more of my little bit time intensive cleaners. And the first one is my homemade orange glow cleaner and here you can see that. I just literally take citrus peels, put them into a half gallon mason jar, fill it up to the neck and leaving about a half inch of headspace with vinegar. I like to use my own homemade apple cider vinegar and then it sits for about two months. And then at the two month mark, I will strain it and add it to a separate mason jar, as you can see here, and let it set for another month. Turn the bowl around. And so as you can see, it looks just like the stuff that you buy in the store. I literally make it for pennies on the dollar. And then when I want to use it, I have a couple of suggestions. The first being you can clean countertops and bathtubs and things beautifully. You can actually use this just as you would orange glow diluted to clean countertops and cabinet fronts and things like that. I've even used it to clean car interiors and the outside of our car and tires. I also can dilute it with about a third cup of concentrate to a gallon of hot water to traditionally mop my floors. I also love it to clean chrome and even to clean on occasion, you know, grout work in the floor or things like that, like in my tiles in my bathrooms, because they're terracotta. This works amazing. One of my other favorite cleaners to make that's in the same vein as the orange cleaner is my homemade pine saw. And I actually do that by literally, as you can see here, going into my yard and getting a few small pieces of pine tree, so a few boughs, and putting them in a jar again, this time with white vinegar. They sit for two to three months and then they are again strained. I add to that a little bit of uh, cedar or pine or evergreen essential oils. They sit for another month or two and you have homemade pine saw and this will knock your socks off. It smells so much better than traditional pine saw. It costs literally, other than pennies on the dollar with the vinegar, you're saving a ton over buying pine saw. It's completely zero waste. The boughs are put into my compost bin. They could, just like the peels, be buried as a deterrent for insects in the summer. And I absolutely love them. It smells. Another one of my favorite products that I use in so many of my recipes is baking soda. I love to buy it in bulk. I keep it in its own jar and it is absolutely wonderful. It's something that you can easily buy very inexpensively and can clean a myriad of things to perfection. And so if you really haven't tried cleaning with it, I really recommend this. Another one of my favorite DIYs for around the house when it comes to cleaning are my toilet bombs. And as you can see here, let me get up so you can see some of the ridges on them. I just cracked them open so they would fit into a jar. But basically what this is, is taking baking soda and water until you have a really, really thick paste, adding essential oils of choice, and then packing them into silicone cupcake molds and letting them dry for about a week until they are hard and kind of like a little disc. And then I use these to clean the inside of my toilet. The baking soda is a great, great way to get rid of germs in your toilet. And I use that along with my lemon spray to keep my toilet clean. And while I'm speaking of the toilets, if I have a stain that's a little bit harder to scrub, I love to use pumice stones. I actually buy mine unwrapped from Amazon, so they come zero waste other than, of course, the cardboard carton that they come in. And the really cool thing about pumice stones 
is you would think that because they're really kind of scratchy and made from lava, that they'd be like uber, uber, you know, really harsh and abrasive on your porcelain surfaces, but they actually do not scratch. They're great for cleaning sinks. They're great for cleaning inside of toilets. They also will get scuff marks off of some metal surfaces with the exception of brass. Um, I have found that they worked beautifully in my home. All of the residue, once you use a little bit of water with them, it just kind of goes down the drain. It is a natural product, and so they are uber safe to use in our home. And the best part is, instead of buying plastic that has to be thrown away in terms of toilet brushes or those really icky, gross little contraptions that you have to put beside your toilet, these dry on their own and once they're dry they're back to their like hard rock form they are without bacteria so they are naturally antimicrobial and antibacterial and then last but not least one of my absolute favorite things to use around the house is not a diy but is something i use in a lot of my diy cleaning and that is dr bronner's castile soap i really like the lavender it smells really clean I really like the lavender. The kiddo likes the lavender. The husband likes the lavender better than my favorite, which is actually the peppermint, but he's not as big a fan of that. I love that this is fair trade, non-GMO, certified vegan. It's not tested on animals. It is produced in a factory that uses biodegradable materials, completely solar facility, and this product can be used on so many things. I literally wash my person and my hair and my skin and my home and my pets and the kiddo and so many things with Dr. Bronner's. It is one of the best products on the market. It's in around the $13 to $14 range locally at my Winn-Dixie. It's the only place I've been able to find it. And similarly priced on Amazon Prime. And if you're a Prime member, you can actually, you know, if you have five or more items, get a 15% discount. It's a little bit cheaper there. But those are my products. That's everything I love around the house, everything that I use that is zero waste and as toxic free as I can get it to be. And I am absolutely in love with all of these products. Again, I will list some of the products that I previously made in the description bar below, as well as the Dirty Dozen app site so that you can see if these chemicals that I have previously mentioned are in your home, you may want to check that out. Again, be sure to check out the playlist below, especially Angela's channel, give her some love and all the other ladies. And I wanna ask, do you have any cleaners in your home that you've traded out and swapped for a DIY? Or are there any DIYs that you tried that really didn't live up to ex you know, expectations? And maybe you'd like me to see if I could make a workaround for you. I would love to hear about that in the description bar below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here and to make sure you turn on notifications so that you don't miss any videos. And as always, guys, please be kind to yourself and to others. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and see you later.